Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It is me, Xander. Today I am going to talk to you about gay baiting. <laughs> gay! I was looking around on YouTube to see if I could find, you know, similar sort of topic videos and there's a lot about gay baiting and queer baiting in the media. So the concept of when a character appeals to sort of a gay audience without actually being gay and dangling gay tendencies in front of a gay audience. So within the media it's not a new concept, it's used to kind of hook in the LGBT plus community and give the viewership what they want. The fact of the matter is gay people and all of those in the LGBT community are a minority in the rest of the world. So when we have a love interest in someone, the chances are they're not actually gonna be gay and we're gonna end up being disappointed. Yes, this happens to straight people too. They could have a lot of interest in them that doesn't fancy them back and then they would be disappointed. But consider it this way. When straight people fancy someone, they have a few different outcomes. Either they fall in love back, that's great, fantastic, have a happy life together. The other person is in a relationship or not available. The other person is not interested, does not fancy the person back. With gay people, we also have those three things and the fact that majority of people aren't gay. So it really, really limits our dating pool. So when we are actually interested in someone, it is a bit like, oh my God. And this whole, are they gay? Aren't they gay? Are they playing with me? Aren't they playing with me? It's very difficult to deal with. What you've got to remember is even though every gay person you know is out the closet, there is a lot of people who are gay and specifically bisexual who are not out the closet. What that means from a gay perspective is that there are loads of closeted people running around who are your potential future love of your life who have not told anyone that they have feelings for the same sex. This means that when we fancy someone, we can't always assume that they are ready to come out the closet even though they are gay. So you can't push someone out the closet. People have got to do it when they're ready. So although you might be getting the vibe from someone that they're interested back and they're flirting with you and they're giving you all these hints and they're making you feel like they fancy you, at the end of the day, they're saying, but I'm straight. I will be right by your side. So I don't know why specifically straight people feel like they would want extra attention from a gay person. I guess it just feels nice to be liked. I mean, I like it when a straight girl tells me I look hot, it makes me feel good. But I wouldn't go out of my way to like flirt and lure a straight girl in, you know, I'm not going to be all over them. And this is something that I have experienced from straight guys when they want to know kind of all the intimate and juicy details about your gay life and how it happens. And I'm just kind of like, why are you asking this? Like, are you just trying to get clued up because you don't know the world? Maybe. But I think there is a very specific way that it's said that makes you think, hmm, are you a gay? Part of me thinks it's actually a little bit cruel. I don't know about you guys, but I'm someone that doesn't fancy people very often at all. And then when I like someone, like I fucking like them. I am in there, I am thinking about it all the time and it's hella frustrating. I have spoken to straight people who have maybe had a sneaky look at the urinal and I'm like, not sure straight people do that don't know. If there are straight people watching, please let me know. Kind of tells me you're a little bit bi, but that's fine. I've had straight people say that they find guys attractive and like they are attracted to guys, but they only sleep with girls. And I'm like, you're kind of giving me mixed singles here because you've just sort of told me that you're bi, but you're not. Like, which one is it? And all of these kind of combinations of different vibes that I get makes me think you're definitely a little bit gay, but you're also hella scared of coming out. Bitch, 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 I'm gay as the day is long. Look at me, I am absolutely fine. I will help you. I will coach you right out of that closet. I am so ready. Why do you gay bait me for why, please? Do you think I'm acting unreasonably here? Why should a straight person feel like they should tiptoe around me? Like, why can't they just act how they would act with a, a straight guy and a straight woman, you know? That, that might just be who they are and maybe I'm just interpreting it all wrong. I don't know. It's difficult to say. Bitch, thank you so much for watching this video on gay baiting. You can also follow me on Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, Facebook, wherever. I am all over the fucking place. Please go ahead and like, comment, share and subscribe. It helps me out. I will see you again soon. Goodbye.